Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a second attempt at doing a full face of Wayne Goss. And I will explain to you what happened to me yesterday throughout the video. But anyways, I wanted to film early today. Um, I'm using the Milani Glow Drops. Almost everything else except for the eyebrows and the concealer is Wayne Goss. These were all the things that I was able to get. Um, Cause you know, they don't sell the same things here than in the US. I actually had to get them shipped from the US. I have spent countless and countless amounts of money getting stuff shipped from the US. Like I just wish they sold everything here, but they don't. So I'm just adding this to add a little bit of a glow to the skin. This Milani glow drops are pretty good. I just w tried them once when I did their video. And um, I think they're really nice and glowy without any shimmer. So anyways, I'm gonna go and try the Wayne Goss Contouring Technique. And I needed a very light concealer because the shade that I have for his foundation, or is my brush, for his foundation was too dark. So with this Salt um, New York that is like embarrassing to open, but it's a really good palette. And right now I'm gonna contour with this. Uh, with this taupey shade right now um, he sorry before I keep going he contours very similarly to how I contour uh, except that he's doing this new like techniques that like they're using on models to get like a really chisel thin face which um, in my opinion my face is already too thin and it can look a little eccentric or like draggy makeup but we're still going to try it because that's the whole point to try his technique today. And uh, well, anyways, he goes, I always go up here with a white line, but above the white line, he goes with a dark line right here. He said it's good for the puffy eyes. So I will do the white line underneath. And this is not a very dark concealer, so it will be fine once I blend it in with the foundation. It won't like appear like too dark um but the concealer that i'm using is very 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 white and yeah like his i'm not saying i'm wearing gloss at all but the way that he contours is very similar to the way that i always contour except for this brown line i never do this brown line uh honestly i i don't know why i I don't really, well, on here, I understand on my eyelids, I'm doing it, which I didn't see him do, but I'm doing it on my eyelids because they're a little puffy. I tend to have puffy eyelids. Um, and this, as you can see, is not perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to um, cover it up with foundation. But it just goes kind of like a line like this. There we go. And then, of course, I'm going to contour the bottom of my face. I mean... Yeah, my jawline, there we go. And I'm gonna contour my nose, which I don't know if I should do the white contour first, but I'm gonna go in and just contour my nose. When you contour your nose, you wanna make sure that the lines are as close as possible. You don't wanna end up with the lines too far apart because you will create the opposite effect, you know? If the lines are far apart from each other, your nose will look whiter than it is. Not whiter as in white, whiter as in <laughs> whiter. That was dumb. Of course, you guys know what I'm talking about. But anyways, yesterday, what happened to me, besides the fact that it was kind of dark, and I was like, damn, it's dark, and like I'm going to have to start the video. But it's because it's been dark all like the whole day. It's not because I took too long and it got dark. It's because it's been dark uh, pretty much since the morning so i'm really gonna just add some brown right there because i i always add it to my hairline always make sure there's like all the brownie situation going up in my hairline and i think the nose well we can always fix that with powder afterwards so now i'm gonna use a concealer so you guys can see where he goes in with a concealer i'm not sure if i'm adding some extra than he is but he goes over here I go over here. I'm not sure if he goes over here, but I go over here to always get rid of that like little mustache. And then he goes here and then he goes down here, which I usually just do the dot over here. And then he goes down here. 
It looks kind of crazy, but I think it will work. And then he does this white line, which is the one that I always do. And then, of course, I do this one. I don't see him doing his nose, but um, I do my nose. So whatever, we're copying his technique, but maybe not doing it exactly the same. And maybe I think he might have added a little bit right here to give some light over there. So we're gonna kind of blend it out a little bit and then we'll add the foundation on top. The foundation that I got is in shade six and it's a little too dark for me. I think I would have been better with a shade four or even five, but the shade six is definitely way too dark for me. But um, I couldn't find it, it's been sold out. I even checked today, because uh, I was like, maybe I'll just wait and do another brand and then do Wayne Goss when I get the new foundation. But no, that's not possible because all these lighter shades haven't sold out for ages. Like, I haven't been able to get a, a lighter shade. So I'm working with a six and I'm gonna try, yesterday when I did my makeup, I looked overall way too dark because I added a lot of taupey, um, like it looked incredible for a look for a nighttime, like where you can't really see that much. Like it just, it just looked like a very chiseled, perfected face. Not that I'm like so good that I can get a perfected face, but you know what I mean? It looked very chiseled, perfected, but I used too much taupe. In my opinion, using too much taupe can also make you look grayish. So, we're gonna go in with the shade six, the luxury cream foundation from Wayne Gloss, which, what happened to me yesterday is that I was doing a full face of Wayne Gloss, and almost at the end of the video, I realized that all the products, except for this, that I was using were Kevin Aquan. And the whole time I was talking about, it was a full face of Wayne Goss. And I don't know how I didn't realize it. It had Kevin Aquan all over the products. Like, how did I not realize that I was using Kevin Aquan and not Wayne Goss? I had them set together in the same drawer, like one next to each other. But still, you guys, like, where was my head at that I was confusing Wayne Goss with Kevin Aquan, you know? Like... Wayne Goss, like his packaging is um, silver and Kevin Aquan's packaging is purple. And I don't know what got into me that I didn't realize that I was doing a face with a different brand. And my boyfriend was like, no, you cannot upload this. And it, it was so funny when I realized that I'm like doing my eyeshadow and then I'm, I go like this and I see Kevin Aquan and I'm like, oh my God, you guys. Oh my God, you guys, this is Kevin Aquan. And <laughs> my face was just like, what's going on? And I'm gonna grab a tissue paper, a towel, whatever, because you said to like tap your extra, extra makeup, um, like with a little paper towel. And yes, a little bit comes off. Well, he said to do that with the contour, but I'm still gonna do it with this because I feel like I have enough coverage. I don't feel like I need more. And that way it will be good for my uh, face to not look so dark anyways. And I don't think I'm gonna add a concealer on top of the concealer that I already have. I think it's enough. I don't want there to be so much contrast between, um, sorry, I'm like cleaning my nails from all the makeup that I'm always grabbing. Um, <laughs> I don't want there to be so much contrast between the color, the really light color of the concealer and the darkness of the uh, rest of the face. So now we're gonna actually open up one of Wayne Goss's palettes. I'm sure it's Wayne Goss. And it's gonna be the Radiance Boosting Bronze Palette, no, Boosting Face Palette. And it says, well, it's a bronze glow and a medium taupe. So it's a contouring and, oh, it's it's a beautiful, see all these packagings that are so beautiful. They just get so dirty so quickly. So I'm assuming this is a taupey shade to contour and this is a bronzing shade. So I'm gonna start with the taupey shade and I'm gonna try not to go too gray, you know? 
so yeah this is very pigmented so let me go on this side very pigmented wow well i barely grabbed any product and it's and i'm going all the way down here usually i stay over here but with his contouring technique he's going down here so it's making your face look really really like slim you see the difference like this area is very very contoured so it makes your face look look how chiseled this side looks compared to this side you know and um i probably would do it maybe if i want to look super um chiseled one day but it's not something that i would do for an everyday look because i feel like it looks a little bit exaggerated um I mean, of course, you can do do it as subtle as you as you want. So if you do it subtly, like you'll be fine. Um, but yeah, look at that. Like very, he's going all the way down here, and he's not the first person that I see doing that. I'm sure you guys who watch, I'm using bronzer on my neck. I'm not using contour. I'm using bronzer. Uh, I'm sure all of you guys who watch YouTube and I mean not YouTube like TikTok. I'm contouring my neck with um, with the taupe shade. I mean, my neck, my, my jawline. And I'm doing a little bit of contour with whatever I have left over on my forehead. I'm going a little bit over here because he darkens this area. I don't know what he does after the concealer and all of that because he doesn't go in with the powders. But I'm doing kind of like what I usually do to uh, contour my face with what I would use as my regular contouring. So anyways, did that make sense? I don't know what I just said. Sometimes I have like brain farts and I say stuff that didn't make sense. So anyways, um, I'm gonna contour, but I really need to make sure, cause see how dark it is? Like I really need to make sure that I got the extra powder off. Yesterday, my nose contour was on spot, you guys. It was the best nose con contour I had ever done. And I could not upload the video because my boyfriend was like, how are you gonna upload a video saying you're using Wayne Goss's technique, using Kevin Aquan products, saying they're Wayne Goss, you know? And like, the products were amazing. It wasn't, the, that wasn't the issue. It was just that like, it was wrong i guess like in his head it was like that's wrong like you can't just do that and then i was like okay yeah you're right so i was like another day without a video because the day before that that i didn't upload you know you guys know i try to upload every day and i film every day but the day before that that i wasn't able to upload i think the contouring is pretty okay um i'm gonna add a little bit of um white right here to maybe lighten up this area a tiny bit um the day before that it got dark at four o'clock but like super super dark see like when you lighten this area and this is dark it makes the nose look slimmer there you go let me just make sure i'm not doing anything wrong um all right oh and you guys today i, I got i turned i turned 3k so now i have 3,000 followers is that 3k is that what it's or 3k is 30,000 i don't know but today i have 3,000 followers and my boyfriend was so excited for me i said i wasn't gonna add concealer and i'm doing it but anyways so then i'm gonna also add a little bit right here which i'll probably add anyways after my I'm gonna share this with this area. Yep. And um, what was I saying? Yeah, I, I really, the reason why I wanna try to upload every day is because whenever I have a, someone that I watch that um, I'm really excited to see their videos when they come out, I'm just always waiting like, oh, I hope like, like waiting for when I have a subscription and it says like, oh, a new video coming up from like Ali Glance, who I love, you know, or like, um, I also love, um, 
Taki Reviews Beauty or like Raw Beauty Christie, you know. I get so excited when those videos come up. So I want to kind of like be, I'm not saying I want to be them. I kind of want to be that kind of person who like people get excited when I upload, you know, and just because they want to watch whatever I'm doing. Like that's, that sounds really, really nice. Uh, because I want to create that connection with the people who are following me. And I want you guys to be able to comment whatever you think. Like, if you think something I'm doing is wrong, now I'm gonna bronze the face. If you th think something I'm doing is wrong or doesn't look good or you don't like it or if you love it or whatever you think, with the bronzer, I'm going higher than the contour, as you can tell. I'm not going as low because the bronzer down here will just droop my face. So the bronzer is going up and I'm just barely bronzing my forehead because it's already kind of bronzed. And um, yeah, I, I don't know what gets people to actually comment, but the comments would be so useful for me to like kind of guide myself to where I should uh, kind of go or like what people are, are looking for, what would make them excited, you know, um, I would like that. I, I am down to receive positive and negative feedback, just constructive criticism, I would say, more, more something like that, constructive criticism. And I want you guys to feel like you're able to, that you have a voice, you know, that like whatever you tell me, I'm not just going to ignore you. I'm actually going to look at your comments and comment back, you know, comment back and maybe take your advice and do something different the next time. Now we're going with the Weightless Veil Blush Palette. I really like this contouring palette. I think, I'm not sure if there's shades, but it's... This is the satin bronze. So I don't know if there's a lighter one, but this is pretty dark. Like you could use this for a very much darker uh, co uh, color person, like with a darker complexion, I mean. And you can also use it very lightly with um, someone like myself, which I always like to look a little darker on my face. I don't mind because, well, I don't mind that my hands are a little paler because I'm usually covered by sweatpants. And you guys, today I received this. My boyfriend gave, gave it to me and he found it in what my grandpa, who just recently died as well, like about a year ago. Um, it has my dad's name on this. And he, this is probably when he was either born or I'm, I'm not sure when, because I never saw it on him. It's, and it was because my grandfather had it and it made me so happy. This blush seems really, really light. So I don't know if this is gonna be blushing enough for what I like. Oh, but it's pigmented, so I think we will be fine. So today will be a very bronzy face without so much blush, but it's, it's very pigmented. Let me show you, right there. Like, for what it looks like in the pan, I really, really like the shade. It's like a baby soft pink. It's really, really beautiful. And today Wayne Goss was also talking about this new, um, this new what I used to call the what I used to call the the um, uh, the little angels, the cherubim cheeks, like the the ch the cherub cheeks. I used to call the cherub cheeks. And today he uploaded a video about that, and I was like. Oh, damn, I used to, like, do that already, you know, like, going all the way up into your eye with your uh, blush. He doesn't go all the way up here, but I still like to go all the way up and also go all the way up here. He just kind of concentrated on this area and under the eye. Um, but I like to bring my blush up most of the time, so I'm bringing it up because that's just the way I like my blush. I'm gonna add a little bit of blush also to my eyelid, just so that they're not so pale when we start with his palette. I've noticed, I'm like, how am I gonna keep up with this? Doing face video, I mean, doing makeup videos of just one brand and buying everything from the brand and just doing one brand reviews. You know, it's like impossible to keep up because you will go broke. 
I'm gonna do my brows because I like to do my brows before I before I do my eyeshadows just to kind of follow the way I want my eyeshadow to go. And as you know, this is a She Glam pencil that I always talk about, so I'm not even gonna talk about it anymore. You can see it in all my videos. Um, and like what I've noticed is that people don't usually do full faces. Like maybe they'll do a full face one day, but it's not all their videos doing full faces of all the brands. And that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm doing a full face of every single brand that I'm buying, you know? And that's almost impossible to keep up with because it's very, impo very impossible, very hard and very expensive to find and have a full face of every brand because a lot of brands, I mean, I will run out of brands, you know, and run out of money as well. So what I've noticed that I hadn't like really paid much attention is that like, for example, Kaki did a review on Wayne Goss, but she just used the palette that I'm using today, the Tourmaline palette. She didn't do a full face of Wayne Goss, she just used the palette. So I guess that's kind of like where I am different from other YouTubers that I'm trying to do full faces, just so that if you guys are trying to buy a product from that brand, you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. So I will try to do a mix and match and still try to do full faces of brands because that's what I would love to watch, but it's definitely hard to keep up with buying every single product from every brand. And I don't mean every single product, but a full face, you know, that means buying like obviously um, like a base or I mean, uh, yeah, like something, a base for your foundation, buying foundation, concealer, highlighter, blush, um, eyebrow pencil, eyelash, mascara, like all these things, you know, and it's like, like bronzer and then eyeshadow palettes, like it's almost impossible to keep up with this. So I need to come up with a new, um, with a new idea of just like reviewing certain products and not reviewing like just, um, just a full face of one brand. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this taupe and I know I'm going over powder, but it's fine. Going in a little bit to fix my nose a little bit. If you work in, in thin layers, you can pretty much mix powder and creams whenever you want if you really do work in thin layers. Pasen. Un poquito, gracias, Lo. Okay, so I'm not like my nose doesn't look as good as it looked yesterday, which is kind of upsetting because it looked so good yesterday. But I'm gonna add a little bit of oh, a lighter pot, uh, color right here and extend it over here. So it's always about lightening up the areas that you don't want to contour, obviously. But I guess lightening up is also contouring. Well, I don't, I don't know. No, that's, that would be more like that other technique that it's like, um, well, using shadow and light, but if you feel like the lines are too spread out, just add some white, well not white, but like a light color and then go all the way in until you find the lines that you want them as close as you want them to be, you know? So we're pretty much done here with the nose. And now we're gonna go in with the, well, I'm gonna highlight my nose. I'm not using his highlighter. I forgot to use his highlighter. Oh, never mind. Wait up. Wait up. His highlighter is beautiful. Look at that. I already put, stuck my little finger in there. So I'm definitely gonna use his highlighter. Well, the whole point of this video is to do everything with Wayne Goss's stuff and not Kevin Kwan's stuff. 
I'm trying to use everything that I have from Moin Goss that I haven't tried. Like, I accumulate, like, I, sometimes I can't buy everything at the same time because they don't have it in the same store. So I just wait up until I have pretty much a full face or almost a full face. So I say it's a full face because it's pretty much almost a full face or a complexion at least. And maybe the mascara won't be it. But like today I found that I had the mascara and the gloss from Moin Goss, which I didn't know I had. So that was great. Um, Cause I was actually on Beautylish on that website today trying to buy that mascara and the gloss. And then I was like, I went online on my, I, I went on my phone, I checked my emails and I realized that I already had that mascara. So I just want to look for it. And yes, it was mixed with Kevin Aquan's stuff. <laughs> I just keep like laughing at that because you guys, I feel like such a dumb butt that I was able to like confuse both brands when they're so like, they have nothing to do with each other. It's like, maybe you could confuse like, um, Benefit and I don't know what brand looks colorful, like Benefit, maybe like Benefit and I don't know you guys. I just don't know how I confused the two of them. But anyways, now that we're done, we're gonna start with the eyes. And for the eyes, I am using the Tourmaline, the luxury eye palette in the shade Tourmaline. And I saw Kaki use this palette, but I didn't wanna like see the whole review of how she did her makeup because back then I wanted to do, oh God. I Glow, me puedes abrir esto por fin? Gracias. Gracias, gracias. Okay. Um, so, anyways, let's get started with... I didn't want to watch her whole eye makeup because I wanted to do my own. And I was like, I don't want to be uh, influenced by what she did. Even though I'm sure she did a beautiful look because she does beautiful looks. There's no like base color for this. So I'm gonna use a little bit of my Kosas powder first, just so that the eyeshadow doesn't stick unevenly because I did add a cream product to my eyelid. So that way the eyeshadow will be able to glide on because I can't even feel it with the powder and it kind of gets stuck because of that glossy stuff underneath. So I'm gonna start by deepening the crease with the matte oh what wait what's going on wait 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 see his his products to me are a lot more pigmented than i expected like i was adding some over here and then i was like oh wait no let's go to the other eye because this is gonna be too pigmented and there we go Whenever you find that you like apply something and it's too pigmented, just go to the other side and add the rest on the other side instead of just keep keeping going with and like mixing it up. Just go to the other side and use whatever you have left over um, on that side. So this looks different on my eyes from the palette. In my opinion, it looks a little bit almost purple on it on the eyes it doesn't look as brown um i think i would have liked it if it was more brown but let's see how it works with the rest of the colors so um i'm gonna swatch this palette for you guys because i don't even know what the colors look like so i'm just gonna swatch all of them except for the except for the one i already used so this is the shiny one there we go. Cause I don't even know what I'm gonna use because I feel like they're all a little too dark. So like, I feel like this would be a contour, this would be a contour. So I'm not sure. Maybe, um, let's see. Yes, I will use this one, like the aubergine color. How do you say aubergine in Spanish? Aubergine, right? No, no, not aubergine. You say, um, oh God, eggplant. It's like an eggplant color. So let's see. I'm gonna add this like eggplant color 
to still make the crease a little darker. So once, once we have the crease a little darker, we'll be able to add, I don't wanna get far away from you guys because I don't, I think they work with pretty well. Like the base makeup that, I, well, not the base. I mean the, the brownie purple that I added with this shimmery shade, because I feel like the shimmers that they added to this, um, to this color were just so that the, the shade would glide easier because when there's shimmer and an eyeshadow, the shade just glides on easier. And I think that's why they did it because you can't really see it as a very like shiny, shimmery, like see, it's, it's not very, very shiny. So I think they just added some glitter in it just so that it was easier to contour because I'm assuming most people would use this shade to contour the eye instead of using it in the middle of the eye. But the thing with palettes is that you can pretty much do things the other way around. You can do them however you want. And there's like literally, what I'm doing with the contouring of my face and stuff, there's no rules. Like if you hate it, you can do something completely different to what I did, you know? There's literally no rules with makeup. I've seen people with the craziest makeup and like, that's great for them, you know? Like, would I wear it? No, but does it matter to me what they're wearing? Not at all, you know? So that's a cool thing with makeup. Um, This is looking a little grayish, purplish, and I don't know if I'm gonna love this. And look, for the bottom lashes, I am gonna have to use the brown shade, the brown that's a little, well, maybe I'll add this pink shade first. They might like it more than the brown shade. We'll see, this one's not that pigmented. Let me see. No, it's more of a shimmery shade. So I am gonna add a little bit of the, a little bit of the brown, but I feel like I need something not so fluffy, so I'll use this. I'm just lightening as always the bottom of my eye with a browner cut with a brown color I usually use something a little lighter I would probably most likely use like his taupey shade for contouring instead of this one but I just want to focus on using this palette because if you're gonna buy this palette it's so that you use this palette and you don't need anything else you know so using other things kind of like defeats the purpose of doing a review on one palette to see if you like it or not. Let me prep my, not prep, but just like add a little bit of moisture to my lips before we get to the lip part. This is my Magic Labello, which I am sure everyone knows about this thing because it's been on the market for like 95 years or more. And I just love the little color that it adds to the lips. I love it. I feel like I need more blush for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like I feel like this darkness got rid of the blush over here. So I'm gonna finish my eyes and then I'm probably gonna add more blush. So um well I kind of used this one that I was gonna use for let me just clean it up. Sorry, you guys, I'm cleaning a brush because I don't want to end up with. All right, so now I have different options. So I'm going to use this one, which was the lighter aubergine color. And I'm going to use it on the outer corners because as always, whenever I have different shades of uh, shimmer shades, I like to do a gradient. I go from darkest to lightest. I, that's just how I like to work. So I do a gradient and I feel like this shadow that I just added is giving it less of that grayish undertone. So I'm liking it a lot. Like I feel like this is making it look more playful, not so grayish. Oh, I went a little high right there. But I feel like it's making it look better. So I'm actually gonna slide it a little bit all the way 
to the rest of the eye because I feel like it's just giving a different vibe, like a different color. It's a lot more, this is grayish, this is not. It's a lot more vibrant and a lot pinker. Um, I don't know if pink is the right na name to call it, but it just makes, in my opinion, the eyes look more awake and more beautiful. So now I'm gonna go with this middle shade. Should I go with this middle shade? Yeah, I'm going to go with this middle shade and apply it to the center because I like lighten, lightening up the center of the lid. So you guys can see right there. It's just, it looks like a light bulb in the middle of your eye. Maybe you guys can't really see it like that way on the camera, but it kind of looks as if there was like a, a little ball of light in the middle of your eye. Now, I'm gonna use this pinky shade all the way on the inside. Okay, I don't know which one was lighter, I'm not sure. I think the, let me see. So this is the pinky shade and this is the other one. I should have added the pinky shade maybe first, but it's fine. I'll add the pinky shade to the beginning of the eye. And I feel like this shimmers made the palette look a thousand times better. I was like scared that I was gonna hate it at the beginning, but now I like it. Like now I think the colors look really beautiful together now that they're all mixed in. Like I feel like it looks kind of fairy tale-ish. And now, for La Pièce de Résistance, we're gonna add this beautiful gold, but I don't want to like cover everything and get rid of the shades that I had underneath. So I'm just literally dotting it in the middle of my eye where I already had the shimmery shade. So I feel like, wait, is this applying enough? No. Oh, this is like a very light she sheer of gold. So I can actually just apply it like pretty, pretty fit, just like all over the eye because it won't cover the, it won't cover what you did with your eyes. And I do feel like it looks pretty nice, but it won't cover the shades underneath because it's like a wash of color. Okay, very good. So now for my inner corner, I'm using his highlighter. Oh, I said there was no point in using, yeah, I said use whatever you have on the palette and not something else because the whole point of a palette review is that you use whatever is on the palette. So I'm using this shade the one that's like a veil of color. It's not like, it's not very pigmented. It's more like a veil of shimmer. And I'm actually gonna go up a little bit right here to kind of like, as if I was lining my eye but with a shimmery shade. I don't know if it's shimmery in, a, yeah. Yeah, I like it, it looks better than this side. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So if you guys are thinking of getting this palette, I think this palette would work perfectly fine for any kind of skin tone, but I do think it can make you look a little sick if you, um, if you kind of are new to makeup, this palette might not be your best bet because if you don't do the rest of your face like really awakened, you know what I mean? Uh, using a palette with such like taupey purple colors can actually make you look a little bit sick. And I know in, in the runways, it's actually kind of like a look to look like sick. I don't really mind it, to be honest, like the, the whole looking kind of sick look, like 
obviously not looking sick as in like a bad way just kind of like looking like grungy you know more like grungy not sick but like they call it kind of looking like sick makeup and they use this kind of colors you know so um yeah i would advise you that if you're not like very used to using makeup and this is gonna i wouldn't recommend this as your first palette I would recommend as a first palette using something like um, the brownie shades from Too Faced, like the that palette that has browns and pinks, like something like that. If you guys ever want recommendations or whatever you guys need, well, I'm gonna break my nail if I try to open this again. I'm gonna add more blush for sure. This is the Radiance Boosting Bronze. No, but we're almost done, you guys, don't worry. But I'm definitely adding more blush. I don't care how pigmented this is, I need way more blush because you will see the difference of how a blush side looks with such a dark look on the eyes. And, and not only dark, but just the shades. Like you see, it just looks, in my opinion, it looks a lot better adding highlighter and blush together because I want like a really highlighted, blushy, really highlighted blushy cheek. And I'm, I am going all the way up here, mixing it, mixing it almost in with my, with my eye, eye color, with my eyeshadow. So I'm literally going like all in. So see, now the difference, like it, in my opinion, it just looks more awake. So we're gonna go all the way up here. There we go, a little bit of pink on the chin, a little bit of pink on the, there we go. Okay, nice. So now I'm gonna do the mascara and I'm quite picky with mascara. This is the waterproof mascara in black. It's, I like when mascaras are a little heavy. It's not as heavy as I imagined it would be. Oh, this is an interesting spoolie. I hope it's, it is spiky. I hope it's not one of those which stabs your eyes to death. So let's just really hope it's not one of those. And I'm just looking now for my mirror. All right, let me clean my mirror. And I am really hoping it's not one of those stab you in the eyes mascaras. And like, for some reason, it kind of feels like one of those. I hope I'm wrong. I would imagine Wayne Goss would do a good mascara, you know? But sometimes you're surprised with people who really know about makeup come out with products which might be good for them, but not the best for the majority of people to use. And I feel like you should, you, like as an owner of a brand, you should always think of like the people you're selling this to. I mean, who's who, which is everyone you know, but like, well, your market. Like what I'm what I'm trying to say is like, it doesn't matter if you like the mascara or not, if it's your favorite or, or not. It's just like make sure that everyone's gonna be able to use it. You know, it's not if you like it very thin and very spiky. This is very thin and very spiky, and it's definitely not gonna be one of my favorite mascaras. Like it's my eyelash, my like where my eyelashes start it already feels irritated because this thing is so hard like it doesn't stab the eye because it's very stubby like the the little spiky things are very short but i'm surprised when gloss would come out with a mascara that is not like mind-blowing like i would you would think that when gloss would come out with a mascara that is just like really 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 good and to be honest, this is not gonna be one of my favorite mascaras at all. I might just give it away to someone who's more into this kind of mascaras. Like, you know, I just ask around sometimes, like whenever I have makeup that I'm like, I don't, it's not my favorite. Some people might love this, you know? They're like, oh, this would be perfect for me because I just like to add a tiny bit of mascara to my eyes. 
and just get out the door this is that kind of mascara you know like you had a tiny bit like it's not for building volume as you can see i'm using the beginning of a spoolie to add more product to the lashes so that i can then just glide it on but that's because it doesn't hold a lot of product and i feel like it's for those kind of people who are just like let me grab the mascara and run out the door and now I just need a spoolie to remove what I just did, but I think my nail will do. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I really want to outline my eyes with... Oh, how am I not going to break my, my, my nails with this? I really, really... There we go. Oh, that wasn't that hard. I really want to always do my liner. Um, I always do my liner, so I want to... Where's my spray? Well, I won't spray it. I'm using this color. No. Yes. I'm using this color with a mix of this color, this two, to do a liner. So whenever you're doing a liner with eyeshadows or with whatever, you look straight and stamp and then you can extend it if you wish to um, it's going to be very hard for me to go inside and line because of the lashes but I, I think I will just keep it this way so we'll do the other side look straight and stamp There we go. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I, I feel like I just need a little bit more highlighter on my nose. I am one of those people who love highlighter on their noses. Sorry if you guys don't, but I am one of those. I feel like my nose is not looking as chiseled and as cute as it looked yesterday, but I'm going to add a little bit of highlighter to this top of the top of the eye look, which I guess is a fair game. Like I'm just adding highlighter. You guys can use any highlighter. Um, and I'm so I'm somehow not truly satisfied. So. You guys, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna go in with a warmer tone and add it to the crease. And you guys can do that, you know, this is not really, it is cheating, but anyone can do this because if you buy the tourmaline palette, you can just use any warmer, I mean, any, any, um, what is it called? Any bronzer shade if you want to warm up the eyes a little bit. And I feel like this looks better warming up the eyes. In my opinion, it just looked a little too gray for my taste. I, I'm more into like uh, brownie shades, not so much purplish. So anyways, now for the lips, I'm using the Uoma Beauty. So this is not what I had from... Oh, I forgot. You guys, I keep forgetting stuff. I forgot to um, do my my lip highlighter. Did I highlight everywhere that I usually do? I don't know. Okay. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, I'm lining my lips. Lining my lips. Yes. Don't lose your mind yet. Okay, so this Woma, is it called Oma, Woma? I don't know, but this is a really beautiful high, uh, lip pencil. I have a bunch, which I don't use very often, because when I'm at home, I don't use lip liners, and this is called Angelou, and I feel like it's, I've always liked brownie, uh, like a pinky brownie shade on my lips. And I feel like this is one of those kind of shades that, sorry, I'm gonna clean up the makeup that I have left right there. 
Oh, that was a lot of makeup. Uh, I'm always looking for brownie shades. I don't like anything too pink or too light. I am a brownie kind of girl. Always. Just, I feel like it's a color that suits me the best. And now I'm going in with Petunia, which I haven't tried, I've had it for a long time, but I'm sure I chose like a brownie, the browniest shade they had, because that's the kind of shades that I like. So let's see if Petunia is, doesn't disappoint. Yes, Petunia, I think. I think, I'm not sure yet. Uh, it's a little orange for me, but I would wear it again. Mm, it has a really nice texture. I'm choose. I'm sure I chose Petunia thinking it was a little darker, well, brownier instead of like peachy. But I think overall, now that we're done with the look, um, the last thing that you can always do, you know, when, when you're done with your look, you can just keep looking at what you feel like you might need. And I'm just gonna add with the other side, which is a marker, as you guys can see. Well, I'm not sure if it's working. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra hair strokes. To just make my eyebrows look a little darker since the eye look is so dark. I don't want my eyebrows to look washed out. Oh, what did I do there? Okay, I'm gonna go back with the pencil because I can't really see what I'm doing anymore with, with the marker. Okay. All right, all right, what's going on? There we go. Now here, adding a little extra more and over, the thing is, since I already added the the brow setter, it's kind of hard to go over it. I should have just added it at the end. But um, anyways. I think we're done. Yes, you guys. We are finally done. I'm powdering a little bit my face, but we're done with a face look thank you guys so much for being here i really appreciate each and every one of you i like to powder this area so that the pores look a little uh, less prominent but not this area and i always powder this down here otherwise you'll end up without makeup pretty quickly even though i'm actually after this the first thing i'm doing is washing my face and doing a mask that's what i always do I finish my makeup look and I wash my face. I don't stay like this all day because I find it uncomfortable and you would think that masks are more uncomfortable, but I love masks, so no, I like this. So anyways, you guys, this is the finished look with Wayne Goss's makeup. I hope you guys liked at least one of the products. My favorite product was the blush, the bronzer, and the foundation. I was not... The lip gloss is beautiful. I just, it's not my favorite shade, but the, I would love this lip gloss in another shade, like a brownier shade. The least favorite thing, in my opinion, was the eyeshadow. I just don't think it's my kind of look. I don't think it suits me very well. And it looked gorgeous and I really wanted it because I saw like that there were reviews about this palette and I really wanted it thinking it was going to look great on me and I don't think it looks that good on me to be honest so I would choose a different one like uh, honestly like if you guys are looking into Wayne Goss's eyeshadow palettes maybe go with a pinkier one I don't know unless you guys are into this kind of shades into this kind of colors to me it's not my best look but some people might love it I don't know some people might think this looks great on me and that it might look great on them so anyways thank you guys so much so so much for being 3000 right now uh it makes me so excited so so excited 
that we're growing our little small community and this is all about you guys it's all about you commenting like whatever you want to see asking questions i will always respond to every single comment and thank you for being here like from the bottom of my heart because you guys are making my dream come true and my dream is to become something like something that i I've wished to become for a long time and it's not being an influencer it's being someone who shares what they love and this is what I love and I love sharing it with you guys so anyways I'm not gonna keep talking because you guys know my whenever I say bye it's always like a huge long thing so I'm gonna shut up and let you guys leave <laughs> And I will will probably most likely most likely see you guys tomorrow. So have a good rest of your day. I love you guys. Bye.